In addition to creating 2D and 3D sketches, there are other methods of creating curves. We'll take a look at several of these in the next few lessons, but first, we'll take a look at a special type of curve, the helix. The diameter of a helix is based on a circle, so the first step in creating a helix is to sketch a circle in a regular 2D sketch. Once the circle is complete, access the helix command from the Insert Curve drop-down menu. The parameters that control the helix will appear here in the Property Manager. You can define the helix using a combination of pitch, height, and number of revolutions. Select the appropriate setting from the Defined by list at the top. If you wish to create a spiral, you can also specify this from the list. As you make changes to the parameters, a preview of the helix will appear in the graphics area. At the bottom of the Property Manager, you can choose to add a taper angle to the helix. With the parameters set, you can press OK to complete the helix. You can edit the helix by right-clicking the Helix feature in the Feature Manager. Remember that the diameter is defined in using a circle, so to edit the diameter, you must edit the sketch located below the helix. Later we'll see how a helix is used to model threads.